Thank you. Thank you for coming out on a Tuesday night. It's a school night and everything. And it's freezing. It, <laughs> <laughs> it was like 95 degrees last week. So Paul here is all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio. He, he said that apparently Michigan and Ohio, they've got a bit of a thing going on. I don't know anything about that because I'm a... It, was a only be if I, it would only be if I was from Columbus, right? I get it. See, I'm a Canadian Brit, so I know not of it, so I can just plead ignorance to all of it. So we will tell you a bit more about ourselves as we go along. But that is Paul, and I am Helen. And this is... Are you? Well, <laughs> depends. <laughs> depends what day it is. This is Alive and Well. Thank you very much. By the way, uh, we don't re tend to explain our songs because uh, we want you to kind of put whatever you want to them. But if you do need an explanation at any point after a song, you go, oh, what was that about? Just, well, don't put your hand up because I can't see it. But shout out, say, hey, what was that song about? And we'll tell you. Or we'll make something up. I don't know. We'll do one of the two. What's this song about, Helen? What's it about? What is it about? I don't know. Should we let them decide? I d we could play that game as well. You can si we can sing a song. We'll go, what do you think it was about? 
This is from our album Inside Voice. 2019 album. That's a long time ago now, isn't it? Feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we released an album at the end of 2019. That was a good move. <laughs> this is called I Can Have It All. song I was about just in case and if you don't that's good as well you can have it all yeah. you can have it all but it's actually about not having it all it's actually about drugs a little bit was it it is it's about it's about you know using we're trying to keep ourselves even all the time and kind of figuring out the difference between is it good to be you know a bit crazy I haven't been there 
Uh, or is it good to kind of keep it even? So it's like, can you have it all? Can you have the excitement and the calmness at the same time? Probably not. Oh, that's a bit deep, wasn't it? Ooh. I know we are deeper than puddles sometimes. So I've got to say, Paul and I, just going to point it out, we're not a couple. I know you're wondering. We are not. Some of you in attendance already know this. <laughs> Some of you do know that. Uh, yeah, Paul and I are very much married to other people who are way, way nicer than we are. Speak for yourself. No, oh, they, they really are. Come on. Come on. Jenny's way nicer than he is, isn't she? She has her moments. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of have a bit of a sibling vibe going on so if we're a bit mean to each other we don't mean it really maybe just a little bit you know what I mean so there you go so if there's anything you want to know about I either of us as well is this can be interactive we like oh well, there's a story Paul <laughs> do you want to take th this time oh I laughed at that I don't know because we've, that's the that's the makers. It was eleven years ago. Because I live on, I live on Vancouver Island, so this is a band of convenience. I live in yeah. obviously Ohio. Uh, it was a music conference in 2011. It was. We met and there was no magic whatsoever. We were both <laughs> spitting out songs for TV shows. We're like, they're just flying around us in our little offices. We were on a member success panel. <laughs> yeah. We were having. We're success. like the sit ubu sit guy. <laughs> sit ubu sit. Paper slam. Um, and, and we were doing that, and we met at a conference and didn't speak for another year. Went our separate ways, went, yeah, he was okay. <laughs> so she approached me. She stalked me. I did. I, I creeped on Facebook. One of me produced children's music, and I was like, yeah. I was writing a kid, I was doing kids' albums at the time. That was a mistake because I hate children. <laughs> you don't hate children. No, my kids were young at the time, and I was writing kids' music, and people seemed to like it. And then I realized I really hated doing children's concerts because cause the children would like climb all over stuff, and I'm not a patient person. So it was really hard to go, oh, darling, darling, don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Long as short as I produced some music. It won a Juno, which is like a Canadian Grammy. And then we I became this. Yeah, Somehow. We, I know, this, this kind of just happened. Yeah. It's all kind of been at, got out of hand. We don't know where it's going. It's, it's a happy accident. It is, which is the <laughs> name of our latest album. It is all, all a bit of a happy accident. I didn't even know my wife when we met. No. I did know my husband. I've been married for 30 years this year. Can you believe it? Wow. I feel like I've achieved something. It's like I'm running a marathon. I'm like... the. The end is in sight? No, that's a terrible one, actually. <laughs> I don't want the end to be in sight. I only married him to keep him in England. So. He's still there. This is a song about a book. It a is. trilogy of books. And if you can guess the book, you get a sticker, which are out there. With our merch, which doesn't that, doesn't that go nicely <laughs> into merch? We have merch which some lovely people are uh, in charge of out there. We have t-shirts, we have CDs, we have stickers. And we have tea towels with song, t with song lyrics on them. They're an excellent gift for people. We all alert you to a tea towel song when it comes up. This is not a tea towel song, but it is about a book. And if you can guess the trilogy, what is a tea towel? What is a tea towel? Yeah. All right, is that is that, is is that a Canadian Ameri a British thing? Is that not an American thing? Jenny knew what a tea towel yeah, was. I knew what a tea towel was. It's a towel you dry your hands on in the kitchen. What, what else would you call that? Dish, dish towel. Okay, I need, so you need to be bilingual, don't you? It's a dish towel. So it's not for tea. It's not for tea. That must be a very British thing. And I never know what's, what's British and what's Canadian and what's American because I had an American mother. So it all gets very confusing for me. I, has, I said yogurt growing up. That was weird in school. It's not yogurt. The only reason I know it is I worked at a certain uniform company back in my early days. And they had tea towels? For a lot of years, yeah, we had tea towels. Did I think they were a little bit different than did your standard have, kitchen dish towel. Did they have tea on them? They did call them tea <laughs> towels. No, they were shaped like a tea. No, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are going to get to this song, we promise. It's called Hiding Place. Every little hiding place Like a secret I can't face 
While everybody knows the game I don't know which move to make See my skin and watch it burn So sensitive to all this hurt While everybody knows my name I have got so much to learn All these wounds don't show They don't prove I know They're buried in the sand This is not what I had planned Oh, wanted This cold is coming from my bones No amount of heat can warm With scars so deep they can't be seen Like everything I've ever known All these wounds don't show They don't Any books? Lowbrow. Very lowbrow. Teenage. Young adult. Not uh, Fifty Shades of Grey lowbrow. Uh, <laughs> no, we're getting closer. No vampires. Underneath? Yes, who said that? <laughs> oh. come and One sticker coming up. What's your name? <laughs> Caitlin. Caitlin, come and see us after and we'll give you a sticker. Yay! Oh, uh, talking with... Back to the tea towels a minute, quickly. Uh, we have regular 
Sorry, dish towels. We have the dish towels, and then we have some upside down ones that got printed the wrong way. Now, we were told, is there a wrong way? There is, because when you hang it on your oven uh, handle or your dishwasher handle, it's upside down. You don't want that. So those are, those are going cheap. <laughs> those, the mistakes are going cheap for $5, and then the other ones. Collector's the, the, items. Yeah, they'll never <laughs> happen again. We did some, have some old ones which did have typos, and they are really exclusive, but I think we're sold out of those now. <laughs> Oh, uh, we don't know. We can't, find, we can't find the email where we There was an uh, email exchange in uh, 2014? 2013. 2013. So we, would, we never intended to do this. We were just writing together. Never intended to leave our houses. We were just recording. There was an alliteration in it. There was, but our... Yeah, our little lines. Little lines. But our um, publisher said, at the time, said, he said, you need a band name. So we, so Big Little, if we stand next to each other, as you'll see afterwards, we look ridiculous because he's six foot four and I'm five foot and a tiny bit. She sleeps in a drawer at our house. I really do. <laughs> it's cozy. When she's getting ready to come, up, come over for the, uh, her, her spell, <laughs> Jenny uh, dresses up a drawer. She puts a nice little quilt in there. It's lovely. <laughs> What's her name on the? I just watched the, the Seinfeld. The I just watched the Seinfeld episode with the big drawer, you know, with the when they put the Japanese guys in the drawer. That's me. <laughs> this but next song. Anyway, so the lions. We don't know where lions comes yeah, from, uh, we but don't. we do know it was available as a dot com, and that was the most important thing in choosing a name. So we wish it was more magical. We're not a very magical band, are we? Singing magical. Oh, thank you. I like that. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> All right, here's, here's the, the real reason, r the real uh, song about the band. Isn't it, Paul? Oh, Helen. I'm sorry. It's called Big Mistake. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
gonna bring us down we got to wash it all away practicing some new songs so because we live in different countries obviously practicing is a real can I get some guitar I am playing the guitar now. she doesn't know I said no, I'm not. so uh, yeah because we've got this new album uh, that was out in June and so what happens we wrote and record what during the pandemic all right I'm gonna go way back we were touring when it all happened so it was March 12th 2020 and Paul's like, yeah, I think I need to go home tomorrow. We were in B middle of BC, interior of BC, doing lovely gigs. And so he left on fr March the 3rd, Friday the 13th, that, that fateful day. And then we didn't see each other again for two years. But you forgot, you left out the part where we woke up super early and had to drive, what, two hours to the Vancouver No, it was like five hour drive through the snow. On in the, the mountains, <laughs> white knuckle. It was, yeah, way. yeah, because he had to get to the airport. He'd found this flight. Oh, yeah, that was... And people were in masks in the airport, and, and I was like, this is so weird. I mean, I've seen people in masks at the airport, but, like, everybody. And I'm then that was at a time where you weren't supposed to touch your face. <laughs> so I just sat there like, I would really want to touch my face right now. But I can't. I can't do it. Oh. It was just, as we all know, it was all really weird. Because we, we started the tour going, eh, my husband is a, an eternal cynic, and he was like, you guys need to be careful. And we're like, ah, it's fine, it's just yeah. the flu. Don't worry yeah. about it. Nah. So anyway, obviously we can't see each other or play together or do anything. We did some stuff online. So we wrote, recorded, and uh, produced and put out uh, a new song each month uh, because that's what we do. And this right here is one of them. If you can try to bring out 40s Paul voice, he does a really good 40s Not yet, voice. No. Not yet? Okay. It's not the right song for that. But this was the first song we wrote right as soon as we got back. We wrote this song because it was we knew kind of knew we had to store up some memories for uh, for uh, you know what was to come. Can I have a little more guitar on this one, and then if I can, you can remember to turn it down <laughs> afterwards? By the way, Kelsey doing a fabulous job on sound. I've, it really sounds lovely up here. It's just really relaxing. I hope it sounds as good. I assume it sounds as good out there. So, oh, thank you. Keep in our hearts God knows 
the games and then drank all the wine. We'll all have forever to breathe. All of these moments. All of that two days ago. <laughs> it's got that new song smell still <laughs> of panic <laughs> and sweat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play a different Because if he's gonna play a different instrument, we're a little competitive. <laughs> I'm gonna play a different instrument. The, both those instruments are mine. So we have double of everything. I have all of this at my house on Vancouver Island. Because can you imagine flying with this? I have all of this. <laughs> it would be a nightmare. And more. <laughs> so Paul's like a walking catchphrase. He has all these cat catchphrases and we eventually all become Don't Paul. tell them what they are. When you're right, we you're don't right. Need, we don't need more people walking around saying that stupid stuff. So. We're banging on all cylinders. I play Paul Bingo in the car. What are you trying to say, Helen? I say that you're very entertaining. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying I was dumb. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> well, maybe. We do entertain ourselves, and hopefully, hopefully others, but we do entertain ourselves. Oh, hang on. I need to get that in order. Oh. Sorry, we're going to do a little bit of tuning chat amongst yourselves. Are you in the right team? We're playing... Uh, we were, uh, we were young, yeah? Are you capable on three? No, it's in D. We were young? Are you playing the right song? No, it's capered on three. Sorry, we're going to have a bit of a fight now. It's definitely capered on three. Are you sure? Positive. Yeah, you didn't the last time we played it. It's <laughs> Put the capo on three. Put it on! Oh, this is going to keep going down on me. Sorry, that's a terrible use of, terrible, terrible phrase. No, that's too high. There we go. Cover your eyes and you can... Sorry. It's the wrong key, <laughs> but that's fine. We'll leave. Well, should we see? We'll, we'll, we're going to find out later. And then what does the winner get? So this is from our uh, latest album. This is called... We were young. Are you all feeling really awkward now that we uh, we had a little? <laughs> are you gonna? Are you working out who's right? Sorry, we're talking about how You're talking about what, how wonderful it would be to be on tour all the time. <laughs> we do. We go on to Canada tomorrow, and then we come back by New York. We've, everyone's broken out into chat now because we, we, we <laughs> we're just going across the bridge tomorrow. We are. We're going to Windsor, and we're going to pop back because I'm staying with a friend in Detroit. He's a magician. He is a magician. I used to so I was a stand-up com comedian in England for twenty years, and I used to work with this magician all the time. And now he lives in Detroit, and I'm I'm here. So I haven't seen him in twenty something years. Hopefully, he doesn't make me disappear. <laughs> or I have one of those like. It looks like a bed. <laughs> I gotta lay on it and I land on the floor. Okay. Ew. Oh, thank you. 
I told him I, or I told Helen I was going to tell him I know how to make food Scrambled disappear. Scrambled eggs disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've never heard that before. We are going to play this song, we promise. Will he have anything else cool in his house? What? I'm just wondering what could be in his house. All sorts of things. Are you going to go sneak into We did play in a puppeteer's house in Victoria, Canada. Oh, that was creepy as he anything. He was, uh, he, no, he had a theater. He was but Fraggle Rock. He was uh, the Fraggle Rock guy. He was a puppeteer for Fraggle Rock, if anybody knows, remembers Fraggle Rock. Down at Fraggle Rock. It was a Jim Henson thing. And of course, he introduced us with a puppet. I did. That was a strange. This is called We Were Young. Cover your eyes and you can count to ten. Everything seemed to be so easy then. We were young. We didn't know our doubts were pushed aside So many leaps of faith, the blood is dry We were young Days were so long, but the years have become too short
It's been a very an interesting novelty act the way that microphone was going. All right, back to normal. Sorry, that was uh, that was a little scary because the bottom note of the ukulele completely went out of tune, and I'm trying to tune it mid song. That's because you put the wrong string on it. <laughs> well, for that type of ukulele, it's not the right. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not worn in yet. Any questions? <laughs> hey, we got a deal on a minivan today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we had the best experience ever from Enterprise. It started off horribly. Started off horribly. Paul comes in, he's, he's packed the standard SUV, which Equinox. used to fit everything. He comes in, he goes, right, we can't take everything. <laughs> we're like, okay. I put my foot down. I'm going to tell you right now, we're not fitting everything in there. But, so, so we, did, we did have to sacrifice one thing, so we crammed it all. I mean, it was crammed. It was like a zip that's ready to pop. I know. If we would have hit the wrong <laughs> bump, it would have just exploded. It felt like that packed. They fit in a base drill, huh? Well, no, we we did all this, yeah, that's, yeah. That's like good. There was a the, so we wanted it was a like minivan. A clown car. You can't get it's minivans like right now. Everything just keeps coming out of it. <laughs> so we wanted a minivan, but you can't get them for love no money not these days. So. uh... We drove to Detroit Airport after having the weirdest conversation with Enterprise about it. It says you have minivan mans on, online, and they said, yeah, but if you come here, we don't have them. I'm like, so, I felt like a sign, you know the Seinfeld episode where he goes, you know how to take the reservation, you just can't keep the reservation. And that is the whole point of, the, and I, I said to him, I, th I feel like I'm in Seinfeld, this is weird. So we thought, okay, we're gonna take, take a chance, we drove to a Detroit airport and we drove in all ready for a fight. And we said, uh, we've got this car, we'd like to exchange it for a bigger one um, because blah, blah, blah. And she went, yeah, sure, bring that minivan over, just put your stuff in. I said, well, is there any difference in, in amount? She went, no, no, don't worry. And I said, well, we've used some of the gas. Mm -hmm. Ah, don't worry. I'm not like, I don't know what to do with my anger now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> So Enterprise, Liz at Detroit Airport Enterprise, she's the best person ever. You don't often get good travel stories on the road in that respect. She was very accommodating. It was insane, I couldn't believe it. I kept looking at her going, really, are you sure? <laughs> anyway, because, uh, because we like some danger, this act has a lot of danger, doesn't it? Because something could go wrong at any point. I have nearly fallen over several times. Tonight? Um, no, not tonight. I've been okay tonight. I've got my Ooh. arch supports in, so I'm good. So I'm, I'm balanced. <laughs> <laughs> she has her arch supports. She announces on stage. <laughs> you gotta have them. I didn't have them one time. I'm like, oh. My oh, God. they're so sensible. <laughs> <laughs> Especially at your age. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> no, he's right. He's right. I, this year in my hometown, <laughs> next month I can start elder college. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a I little get my AARP. <laughs> it's a Just little got my sobering. shingle shot. <laughs> Me too. I'm good. So play Guess the Age. Uh, anything over 30, I'll be really, really offended. So we're going to try another brand new song. We've never tried this before, but I think it's going to go well. But you never know. Oh, could you turn my guitar down a little bit again, Kelsey? We have an old dog, and he's deaf right now because we've been giving him eardrops. So <laughs> he seemed to like it. He can't hear a thing, but you know. <laughs> We're just talking about old things in the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this song is called Extraordinary. <laughs> I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my time I'm 
on these new songs. You're just such a lovely bunch of people. I'm called guinea pigs. I feel very comfortable in front of you. I really wanted to resolve that note. You're not allowed to. If anybody knows anything about music. No. You don't. We end on a, all right, we end on a subdominant chord, which feels a little uncomfortable because you want to go I always to, the, just to the root chord. it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some, uh, there's some I theory to for you. <laughs> So there you go. All right. So all of those songs from the new album have, have fun videos because we did that as well. Can I have a little more guitar, please? I'm very high maintenance, Kelsey. I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Do we do, do we want to do this one? Why, why wouldn't we want to do this one? Okay. I just want to make sure you're okay. comfortable with it. <laughs> <laughs> this song was inspired by a binge watching session of the initial Stranger Things, 2016. Turn the video, sneaking out late, watching the horror picture shows. I remember when we had nearly hit 14. Not a grown up yet, just another in between. Hanging around the tree, on the corner by the tree, we knew where to go. We knew where to meet. Didn't make a plan, just seemed to know oh. Now it feels black and white 
and blur The static on the screen of what we learn Ba-da-ba-da-da 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 I remember when we were only ten Things behind sitting on a fence when a phone world. What I would give to go again, press a wine. Was a simple time and a simple theme and a simple plan. Was another world and another place right where we began. But I'm standing here looking at the tree where we used to hang, wishing I could see the wonder in your eyes and your scraped and dirty hands. It now feels black and white and blurred The static on the screen of what we For how many more? Because we uh, want to make sure we fit in the ones we want to fit in. We always think we're going to play one more, and then we talk, and then. Fifteen minutes. All right, we've got all the uh, we've got all the emotions. D what's emotion that you haven't heard tonight that you want to hear? <laughs> Love. Love. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we don't write love songs, do we? No, because we're not a couple, that'd be weird. <laughs> we used to write love songs together because we were, I don't know. Play something old. Something old? Yeah. Like old, our old or like somebody else's old? <laughs> Your old. Something old. Oh, not old. <laughs> All of our sounds beginning. old, though. Something from your beginning. Something from my, all right, let's do The Way Home. All right. This song was written before I knew how, well, before we worked together. Can I have the guitar down a little bit, please, again? This is written okay. in 2012, and then it became a Big Little Lion song. This is on our first EP, which we don't have, e uh, I don't know if people still buy c uh, CDs, but we've got them. And on our Inside Voice album, there's also our first EP hidden at the end, because you can't buy it anymore, we, we ran out. So that's an album to get if you want a crap ton of songs. <laughs> so this is, yeah, this is one of the first ones we ever did.
Devils are running underneath us, but I'm fine. Well, I run them all. Ooh, and how far we roam, we'll always know the way home. Ooh, and how far we roam, we'll always know the way back home. Are you ready? I know. So Paul doesn't do enough. My son calls him the uh, Swiss Army Knife musical instruments. Just fold another little bit out, then another little bit. We're going to stick some cymbals on his knees, a whistle on his head. Now the problem with this is when you have a beard, it gets caught in there. Every once in a while, if you see me wince, it's because I get a beard hair. It smarts. <laughs> That's yeah. an interesting question. It is an aesthetic. It's it didn't started off as not an aesthetic. It started off as we used to hit the suitcase. You know what? It it makes me uh, wish for a real drum set sometimes. <laughs> but I'm saying now, I veto. So yeah, it started out that way, and then it became too difficult in different venues to get the right sound. But it is very practical, because uh, we could store a lot of stuff in it, <laughs> and it saves room. So. And it's just become our thing. It's just like, you know, we've been gigging together for eight years this year, so it's just, it's just there. It's and been it a lot of time. It looks pretty. Antique malls. Yeah, we've got a lot of... When I first got them, I went to some antique mall in Cincinnati, and was like hitting on it. <laughs> Some woman that worked there did not appreciate me doing that. Paul, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. It's got the right sound. Yeah, it has to have the right sound. <laughs> and that one there, obviously a keyboard stand, uh, is another suitcase. <laughs> we love our suitcases. Yes, we do. Anyway, Paul, you introduced this set. This song is, uh, was inspired by my father, who passed away in 2018. And so our album, Inside Voice, came out that year, and it was a lot of the songs dealt with uh, mental illness, stuff like that. He had dementia, so I could guess it could be uh, categorized under mental illness. Um, so this song came out of that, and it was inspired by the whole uh, ordeal that my brothers and I had to go through with my dad. It's called Lonely Blue. Do you know what day it was? 
When you finally lost your touch Slipped away Time has made a great escape You used to know what laughter was Just another memory lost I shave it is no one to save it. You lived and lived. Has it all just gone? Oh, lonely blue, painful are the words you used to. Every face a stranger now Ever since the lights went out I'm lonely A shame it is No one to save you You song for you you lovely 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 people really this is the first gig of this tour and you've just made it such a lovely one so thank you for spending your su uh, not Sunday it's Tuesday Tuesday night with us I'm starting well aren't I is that one more song gonna be you know what it's gonna be do I a big thank you to uh, the Ark for taking a chance on us and putting us out there for their Tuesday thing majiggy I, I, I can't think of words. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you to Kelsey for doing a fabulous job on sound. Thank you so much yes. for that. Uh, thank you to Joan for uh, and all the volunteers and the volunteers that are doing our merch. We've got merch outside. Go get all our merch. Just take it all off our hands. So, in order to book us here, for years Helen was sending videos, video after video covering ABBA. And just different situations. Take a chance on me. <laughs> and she'd be in the field. She'd be in her house. She'd be with her cats. 
It was probably what about 35 I? videos you did of that song. I stalked. I All know, sent to so. here to try to get a, <laughs> land us a gig. The dedication. Oh, the dedication, Helen. Oh. <laughs> You're a strange one. She even had her husband <laughs> singing with her at one point. And he doesn't sing. <laughs> <laughs> that was only on The Winner Takes It All, though. This last song is about finding community. You are a lovely community here tonight. It's called Find Your Tribe. Thank you once again for being here. And uh, hopefully, uh, you. tell your friends, if uh, on the, have a look where we're going. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Yeah, that's it. Like us, just like us, please like Snapchat. us. Snapchat. Snap, no, we're not on Snapchat. I'm I can't I don't be done with the name Snapchat. of that app. <laughs> I've been having a hard time remembering. Anyway, this is Find Your Tribe. Turn on the light, open your eyes, put all your bags down, turn round, we are home, home, it's a big home. It's not a house, not even a town, it's where your heart lies each night, you are home, home, it's a big home. So find